Hey guys, it's Pam. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, I decided I'd try and record just a little bit more today because I want to um, want to talk to more people. Want to talk to Dorian. I'm gonna talk to Josephine first. Um, might go and catch up on the war table real quick. How bracing to be in the thick of the game again! The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. No one can say the evening wasn't memorable. They've already begun composing songs about it in Valroyal, no doubt. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing. So few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. I kept dreading I'd drop the wrong spood or step on a general's foot. Well done. Feuds that spanned ages have sparked over less. Really? Inquisitor never underestimates the enmity of those for whom outrage is a sport. <laughs> um, I thought I'd have another cutscene with her, but that's all right. That's a good conversation. We'll go check in on the war table. Um, I'm actually on my fourth episode today, which for me is pretty good. Um, I have not generally been able to record more than two at a time. So, but the, it does help that this, this one and the last one have been all conversations. Um, it's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlais. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orlais' support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. Oh, oh. We end them now. <laughs> I was not expecting Corypheus that. Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds. That's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? Good question. His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. Oh yeah, this. She's so... smug. I think that's what... I'm just, I'm not the hugest fan of Morgan. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds. Untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Okay. 
So we'll just follow the strange woman into the strange mirror. Um, the thing that I guess really annoys me about Morgan more than anything else is she's basically proclaiming herself to be an expert. And I'm not saying she's not an expert when it comes to elven artifacts and elven history and all this stuff, but she makes it sound like she's the only one and she's human. So that's really frustrating because, you know, uh, uh, um, She's obviously not the only person who knows about Alluvians. We know that because um, Meryl from Dragon Age 2 had an Alluvian that she was restoring. And as you may recall, it's the Alluvian from Dragon Age Origins that was, um, oh gosh, what was the clan name? I can't remember. Um, but if you if you had the Elven origin, you were the Wood, wood Elf origin, you were from there. Um, and uh, it was the one that killed uh, uh, Tamril. Tamril? Tamlin. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. Really? I call it the crossroads, a place where all Illuvians joy, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I had a safe place to raise my son. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Apparently that place looks, this place looks a little bit different if you're an, playing an elf. It's a little bit more color and light to it um, than if you are playing a human or non-elf. Um, I really need to go back and compare with one of my other characters at some point. Um... This is talking about griffins. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, um, it is a bit frustrating to have someone come along and lecture you on your own history and act like they know better than you, and it continues later on. But, I mean, she is very learned, and she studied hard and worked, and I'm not going to try and diminish any of that. Um, it's also interesting that she happened to hear of an alluvian in the place that we're going to, which is the Temple of Mithal. And it makes me wonder if she was given that information somehow or led to that information. Um, we're we're going to find out more about what's going on with that later on. Um, also, now I know that I'm in the right uh, setting for my the the world setting that I put in for my on, on the keep because she mentioned her son and I had not finished origins when I first started playing this and so I got through it and I didn't realize that there was you know there was an alternate like if if you if you um if you recruit Morgan if you go through all this and in origins your um your your character, your Grey Warden, just died um, without doing the ritual that they offer at the, just before the final Archdemon fight. Um, you have a scene where you go to the Arbor Wilds and you meet um, Mythal, who is not Mythal, um, and you, uh, Morrigan learns how to become a dragon. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Um... But if, uh, um, if she has the sun, then something different happens, which is what's going to happen in this one. But it is an interesting thing. And the Alluvian stuff is really interesting, too. And that also plays into Trespasser. So, oh, we're back in our garden again. And there's uh, Morgan and Kieran. So, yeah, let's go talk to them. You're the Inquisitor. Mother never told me the Inquisitor was an elf. The years gave me away, didn't they? No, your blood is very old. I saw it right away. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on his hand, Mother? I did see. It's time to return to your studies, little man. <laughs> My son. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains God to not it. let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy, but seldom troublesome. He seems like a fine young man. But not the sort one might expect a woman like me to raise. No son of mine would be raised in a marsh bereft of contact with the outside world. Mm, his future will be there. difficult enough without my adding to his burden. To think, until recently, this place stood decrepit, occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. I like this place. I've made it mine. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. 
I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. I appreciate whatever help you can give us. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed. It is that he actually may. She's also very quick to pretend to assume you're saying you're trying to be offensive when generally you're not. But anyway, um, that was a uh, more than I was expecting. I'd forgotten about that whole scene. Um, so now I'm going to pluck all my stuff here, and finally. Go talk to Vivienne and Dorian and Liliana. Lots of stuff to do around Skyhold, including walk into doors. My dear, I'm afraid I must ask you for help. Okay. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other wyverns sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. So, yeah, we're going to have to go back to the Exalted Plains for that. Um, but for now, as I carefully navigate and maneuver around all those books and chairs and stuff, let's see if I have anything to drop off here. No creature research items removed. That's fine. So now we're going to go find... There he is. I have to admit... It does feel good to have my amulet back. I'm not above a bit of attachment, apparently. Bloody thing. I need to talk to you. Just talk? Such a pity. I thought we could discuss what happens after. Ah, yes. After. Dreadful thing, after. Let's see. Assuming one or both of us aren't slaughtered along the way, what do you wish to happen? We could go our separate ways, if you prefer. I've been a port in a storm before. I would understand. Of course not. I want us to be together as long as we can. You're very sentimental for someone who's killed as many people as you have. <laughs> you bring it out in me. Sweet maker. Next you'll be making car pies of puppies. He says I, I don't already don't know what the future holds for us or anything that's my honest answer once Corypheus is defeated when this is over I'd like to talk about it more if you absolutely 
Um, I guess we don't have another cutscene. Marvelous scene. business, the Winter Palace. Ah, there we go. You saved an empress, and now she's eating out of your hand. Perfect mental image. All this dancing, politics, and murder <sighs> makes me a bit homesick. Personally, I'll remember our dance. There could have been more corpses about. Although I suppose you might have tripped over them. <laughs> You're a grim young man, Dorian. Nonsense. I simply enjoy the drama. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. It tasted of despair. It's fascinating. Must have come from the Anderfels. I need to talk to you. About how much you adore me, I assume? I hear that so often. I was hoping to steal a moment alone with you. You have but to ask. Amatus. Lead the way. One of my favorite scenes. Of course, I assume they do more than just kiss, but you know, I'm, I have a dirty mind. Okay. Um, I guess that's all I, we can really talk about for right now, so I will go up, chat with Liliana, and then Souls will be the last. Where is she? She must be over there praying. Oh, yes, of course, because now we have to talk about the divine stuff. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? <laughs> when Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. No one would fault you for abandoning ship, you know. Out of the ship, and straight into the sea. You think Thedas hates mages now? If the Chantry falls, don't you think the people will blame magic? Look at all that's happened. Kirkwall's Chantry, the war, the breach. Mages are always involved. Without the Chantry to guide, that hatred will spiral out of control. No. We don't want that. And the Chantry can see that it doesn't happen. The people are sheep, Inquisitor. They need to follow. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. See, that's the priority, I think, but, you know, whatever. Now we're going to take advantage of no fall damage yet again. Ow. And, oh, my, my shout came a little bit late, but... Inquisitor, I was... Do you have a moment? What were you like? Before the anchor. Has it affected you? Changed you in any way? Your mind? Your morals? Your... Spirit? I don't believe so. Ah. Why do you ask? You show a wisdom I have not seen since... Since my deepest journeys into the ancient memories of the Fade. You are not what I expected. Sorry to disappoint. It's not disappointing, it's... Most people are predictable. You have shown subtlety in your actions. A wisdom that goes against everything I expected. If the Dalish could raise someone with a spirit like yours, have I misjudged them? The Dalish didn't make me like this. The decisions were mine. Yes, you are wise to give yourself that due. Although the Dalish, in their fashion, may still have guided you. Perhaps that is it. I suppose it must be. Most people act with so little understanding of the world, but not you. So what does this mean, Solas? It means that I respect you deeply, Inquisitor. And I have disturbed you enough for one evening. Okay. 
All right. Well, this was going to be a little bit short, but I think I'm going to leave this here because now that I've gotten through all that, I really need to uh, go and do stuff like, you know, my inventory management and things. So we're going to go back in Vain Hall. Oh, I do still have to judge Florian, but yeah, I think I'll leave that one for next episode. So just a little bit short, but hey, you know, I got a lot, I got a lot of recording done today. So there. Yeah. <laughs> Get back into the main hall here. Mm. Actually, I kind of think I might take a nap. All right. Well, we're going to leave this for here for next time. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, look at that silhouette. Or Yeah, that is actually kind of a neat image. I just wish I could, like, back it up a little bit. Oh, there we go. And I'm not seeing the sit, but... Um, anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope I get to see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.